Speaking to people we know about our scars can be difficult, especially when that person is family, younger or much older. We may feel as though we want to protect our younger siblings from the things that may upset them, or that older family members won't understand how we're feeling. However, it's important to have conversations with our family about our self-harm journey and what we're going through, but it's equally important to make sure that we're ready to do so. Having difficult conversations can be scary and hard to do. It might help to ask ourselves some questions to prepare and see if we're ready to talk to family members. Questions like, how do I feel when I think about talking to older family members about my self-harm? What do I do if a younger family member notices and says something? And how can I best look after myself before and after I talk to my sibling? If there comes a time that we feel ready to talk to family, or we end up needing to tell them because they've seen scars, it's important to remember that you and your feelings matter and they're just as important as your family members. That means that it's okay to only tell your young relatives as much as you feel comfortable, or to ask to stop talking about it with older relatives when you need to stop. You may not feel completely comfortable to speak about your story then and there, and that's okay. You can always come back to that when you feel more comfortable to do so. The kind of conversation that you have with your younger sibling about your scars will probably depend on their age. We may talk more generally about feeling overwhelmed or use language that's familiar to them so they can understand what you're trying to explain. It's also helpful to consider how we have this conversation, as it's important that both you and your sibling walk away from the conversation feeling understood. Try to speak about the topic gently with your sibling, making room for inquisitive questions and supporting them to explore other ways to cope together so you can both learn from the conversation. The topic of self-harm and scars can often be a heavy one and people can react in different ways. So we may need to give space to family members that struggle to understand or act in difficult ways. In moments like this, we may feel as if we have to defend ourselves or that we should have hidden the scars better. However, it's important to remember that this can be a difficult topic to talk about for everyone. So it's good to give yourself and others space to reflect. Regardless of the emotions, words and questions that your family members may express, remember they care about you and they're on your team cheering you on towards recovery, just like all of us here at Illumina. Take your time with speaking to your family and remember it may not go the way we expect the first time and that's okay. It just means that we may have to give it more time or try again to find those in our family that are able to support us more.